Hello student, welcome you to Mohan Sir's classes. Today we will learn chapter 6 of your English reader from a railway carriers. From a railway carriers. It is the chapter 6 of your English reader. Let us begin the class from a railway carriers. Introduction part. Traveling experiences are source of great happiness for children. In childhood days, we all had a fascination towards traveling in trains because of its length, the sound produced by the mechanical movement of the wheel the loud horn, etc. Here in this poem from a railway carriage by R. L. Stevenson, the poet describes his thrilling journey in a train and about those sights that he saw then. So in this introduction part, it is said that traveling experiences are a source of great happiness for children. We know that the children, whenever they travel, it is the great source of happiness or they feel a great happiness in their life or they are glad to travel. Either it is you, me or somebody during our childhood or now at present you, you enjoy the time and the movement of journey. In our childhood days, we all had a fascination towards traveling in train because of its length the sound produced by the mechanical movement of the wheels and the loud horn etc. So during our childhood even now also we have what a interesting or interest towards the traveling in the train. Why? Because the length of the train, the length of the train and the sound which is produced by the mechanical movement of the wheel. We know that when the train moves the uh, mechanical or the wheel of the train produce some of the sound and the loud horn so all these things make excitement to the children either it is you me or somebody else to travel in the train or to move by the train here in this poem from a railway carriers by r l stevenson the poet describes his thrilling journey in a train and about the sights that he saw then. So in this poem, who is the poet? R. L. Stevenson. R. L. Stevenson. So he is describing his thrill journey in a train and what other things he saw in the train or through the train that he wanted to explain in this poem from a railway carriage. Let us know about the poet Robert Louis Stevenson or R. L. Stevenson. So, this Robert Louis Stevenson, he was born on 1850 and died in the year of 1894. And he was a Scottish writer. He was a Scottish writer. He was born in Edinburgh, as the son of Thomas Stevenson and Margaret Isabella. Understood? So where he was born? He was born in Edinburgh. He was born in Edinburgh in Scotland. Next, who was his father? His father was Thomas Stevenson. Understood? His father was Thomas Stevenson and his mother was Margaret, Margaret Isabella. His mother was Margaret Isabella. Next, he had literally interest in his uh, even in childhood so that he used to write story in spite of his several dishes. That means from the childhood itself he was interested in writing literally or writings. That's why he used to write many stories during his childhood though he was having several diseases in his body or he was suffering from several diseases, even then from his childhood he was writing several stories for the children. 
In 1880, he married Fanny Osborn. Fanny Osborn. That means the name of his wife was Fanny Osborn. He died on December 3, 1894. He was just 40 years old then. That means at the age of 40, on December 3, 1894, he died. He is well known for his evergreen work like Treasure Island, Kidnapped, and Strange Case of Dr. Jackley and Mr. Hyde. So all these things are the writings of whom the poet R. L. Stevenson, and he was famous for or well known for his writings. And this is the image of. Poet R. L. Stevenson. The first paragraph of the poem, faster than fairies, faster than witches, breeze and houses, heads and ditches, and charging along like a troops in a battle. Although, although the meadows, the horses and cattle. so this is the first stanza of this poem so before explanation of this stanza let us go through the word meaning of this stanza so what is the meaning of carriage coach in a train what is coach that means we also word say a bogey we also say what bogey that is called what coach in a train next what is the meaning of ferries A small imaginary being with a supernatural powers. All of you know about the fairy tales, and you have listened to many tales, a story about the fairy. So, what it is a iman imaginary being and having what supernatural power. What is witches? That means plural of witch. That means magical power. The magical power. Next, what is heads? Row of bushes. forming a boundary you know bush so when uh, you see that okay there are okay plenty of bushes okay they are st uh, uh, standing or line wise so it okay, it seems like a boundary next ditch narrow trench to hold water narrow trench to hold water next is troops that means what plural of troop that means soldier especially in a large groups so these are the word meanings of this stanza so this first stanza faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses heads and ditches and charging along like along like troops in a battle all the the meadows the horses and cattle these lines have been taken from the poem from a railway carriage written by robert louis stevenson in this poem poet shares his experience of a railway journey with us he describes its speed very amazing he present natural scenes seen from the window of a railway carriage so let us talk and discuss about this first stanza in this first stanza poet says that train runs more quickly than the ferries can fly or the witches can move what is says faster than ferries and faster than witches that means what the poet says that train runs more quickly than ferries can fly or the witches can move next the train advances forward it seems the soldiers are attacking enemy in the battlefield here says that are charging along like the troops in battle it says that when train as a when the train advances forward it seems as a what soldiers are attacking enemy in the field next it says that the train rushes on leaving bridges houses fences and ditches behind look at the second line that bridges and houses heads and ditches that means what the train Rus or move on leaving what bridges, 
हाउस फैंस डिस एटसेट्रा बिहाइंड दैट मीन्स व्हेन ए ट्रेन इज मूविंग सो इट क्रॉस ऑल दिस थिंग व्हाट आर द थिंग्स लाइक ए ब्रिज हाउसेस हेड्स डिस ऑल दिस थिंग्स इट क्रॉस एंड इट मूव्स लाइक अ व्हाट ए सोल्जर्स मूविंग टू अटैक द एनिमी इट ऑल्सो लिव्स बिहाइंड द ग्रीन फील्ड्स लुक एट हियर ऑल ऑल थ्रू द मिडोस the horses and cattle that means what it also lives behind the green fields where horses and cattle are grazing understood this line says or this line says that it also which one the train also lives behind the green fields where horses and cattle are grazing so what you learn from this stanza from this stanza we we'll learn that poet says that train runs more quickly than ferries can fly or witches can move and he also says that when the train advances or moves speed it seems as the soldiers are attacking enemy in the battle field and the poet says that the train rushes on leaving what bridge bridges houses fences and ditches behind and he also says that it also lives which the trains also lives behind the green fields where horses and cattle are grazing this is what about the first stanza second stanza all the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the week of an eye painted station we still buy so what does this stanza says all the sides of the hill and the plain flies as the thick as driving rain what does it this sentence or uh, sentences that means poet says that all the scenes of hill and plain were being crossed by a train as quick as quick as one drop of rain follows another drop in a storm understood listen carefully this two line all the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain that means poet says that all the scenes of hill and plain were being crossed by a being crossed by train as quick as one drop of rain follows another drop in a storm that means what is the speed of the train it moves such a way that we know while the while it rains so when one drop of water fall before it is reaching the ground another drop of water falls so in a storm or during the what storm time so in this way the train travel next and ever again ever again in the wink of an eye painted station we shall buy that means again and again in very short moment train was crossing station with a whistle we know that whenever the train cross the station there is a person who blew, blow whistle so it is says that again and again in a very short moment train was crossing station with a whistle whenever train cross or station cross the station master they blow whistle next from the window compartment train building stations were seems as a painted picture that means when the poet travel by the train he says that from the window of the compartment of train that means from inside the train or from the window when the poet saw that the buildings and stations were seems like a painted pictures understood why the poet noticed that from the window of the train he saw that buildings and stations it seems like they painted pictures so what you learned from this stanza from this stanza we learn that poet says that all the scenes of hill and plains were being crossed by train as quick as one drop of rain follows another drop in a storm again and again very short moment train was crossing station with a whistle and from window of compartment train buildings and stations were seen as a painted picture third stanza here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by all by himself and gathering brambles here is a tramp 
who stands and gaze and there is a green for stringing the diocese so let us discuss the word meaning first from this stanza clamber 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 in the sense word climb with difficulty next scramble that means to make a quick dash or run that means run quickly bramble that means what rub prickly serb or plant tramp a homeless person who moves around aimlessly what is tramp a homeless person who moves around aimlessly string that means what thread diocese means what flowers this is what about the word meanings from this stanza so let us discuss the stanza now here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gather brambles that means in this line poet says that from the window of the compartment of train he sees a child climbing a steep ground by himself with difficulty understood it says that the poet say that from the window of the compartment of train he sees a child climbing a steep ground by himself with difficulty the child was also gathering black berries during the climbing understood the child also gathering blackberries during the climbing next sentence here is a tram who stand and gazes and there is a green for stirring or stringing the dashes in this line it is says that poet see a homeless person who was looking at the train with amazement we know while we are traveling by train we see that many people are okay seeing the train so here the poet says that or poet says a homeless person who was looking at the train with amazement or surprisingly he also sees some ladies in a common village grassy land they were making grasslands for daisy flowers understood he also sees some ladies in a common village a common village grassy land they were making grassland of daisy flowers so in this stanza what you learn in this stanza we learn that or in this lines poet says that from the window of the train compartment he sees a child who was climbing a steep ground by himself with difficulty the child was also gathering blackberries during climbing poet sees a homeless person who was looking at the train with amazement he also sees some ladies in a common village grassy land they were making grassland for daisy flowers fourth stanza and the last stanza here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with a man and load and here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone forever let us discuss the word meaning first from this stanza lump adjusting without complaint what is the lump that means adjusting without complaint glimpse sight of somebody something for a very short time glimpse means what sight of somebody or something for a very short time let us discuss the last stanza now here is a cart run a run away in the load lumping along with a man with men and lord so poet says that he sees a cart moving slowly in the middle of a highway it was full of load and cart driver was sitting on the top of the load understood what does this line says this line says that poet says the he sees a poet sees a cart moving slowly in the middle of a highway it was full of load and cart driver was sitting on the top of the load next to line and here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone 
gone forever. He says that or the poet sees a water mill and river while traveling in the train. Understood? The poet sees that a water mill and river while traveling in the train. All these objects appeared and then disappeared so quickly that poet looked at them for a very brief time or a small time and they can never be seen again. Understood? What does this two line says? It says that he sees a water mill and a river while traveling in the train and all the objects appeared and disappeared so quickly that the poet looked at them very brief time or a very short time and then they can never be seen again. This is what about the fourth paragraph. So, what you learn from this fourth stanza? Stranger, from this fourth stanza, we will learn that poet says that he sees a cart moving slowly in the middle of a highway. It was full of load, and a cart driver was sitting on the top of the load. He sees a water mill and a river while traveling in the train. All these objects appeared and disappeared so quickly that the poet looked at the uh, look at them for a very brief time and they can never be seen again. So this is what about the poem from a railway carriers. From a railway carriers. Hope all of you understood.